Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, out today camping. Gonna do a little solo camping trip tonight. And this is my camp spot, I just walked into it. And uh, right away, there are some free gifts. There is a free grill that someone's left me. Nice stack of wood already started and someone was building a bow. So, I don't know, we'll play around with that, I guess. If it doesn't work, at least I got some cordage I can salvage. It's always nice when you go to a spot and there's stuff ready for you. I didn't even have to bring a grill tonight. Kind of stinks, but uh, that'll be coming home with me. Free gear is good gear. So this is the spot. I need to figure out where I want to set my tent up at. There's a couple good spots. Just trying to figure out how close I want to be to the fire tonight. So what gear I'm using this weekend is the uh, military surplus stuff. I got the Marine Corps ILBE pack. I've got the French F1 tent. Both of those I've done reviews on. I'm also using the Hill People Gear um, kit bag, which is their version 2. It's the updated version, so I'll show you that. And uh, all kinds of cool gear with me this weekend. Just going to have some fun and relax and enjoy this beautiful fall weather. It's nice and cool out. The leaves are starting to change and drop. It's going to get really cold tonight. Um, which is a big change because it's been really hot in Ohio right this uh, this fall, so I'm looking forward to it. A lot of good spots to set up. Alright guys, stick around because it's going to be a fun, fun video. So what are we doing this weekend? Well, it's not, I should say, it's not the weekend, it's the middle of the week. What are we doing today? Um, what we're doing is, I've come out to the State Forest, and there's some really nice uh, park and hike and campsites. You know, they're, uh, they're not great distances, they're probably a mile or so in, if even that. Um, but they are really beautiful sites, as you can see. Just mixed forests. There's pine and hardwood and maple and all kinds of stuff back here. So it's a beautiful place, beautiful park. And um, the campsite that I'm in, uh, this horseshoe, is actually surrounded by a mountain bike trail. So during the day, there's mountain bikers going around the campsite, which is no big deal. And then if I hike up this main trail up here, if I hike up that trail up there, that leads up to the main trail back to my truck. But uh, the thing is, I'm back here pretty much completely alone. It's very secluded. Uh, this campsite is way up on a hill. It doesn't get a lot of traffic, a lot of foot traffic, and it doesn't get a lot of uh, people driving through because actually it's a one-way drive in here. So it's nice because uh, it just doesn't get a lot of the same traffic that the state forest down below gets. It's a little bit more secluded, so that's why I always come up here. It's 
it's a great spot to come and get away for a few days and just clear my head and do some solo camping and I don't have to do a ton of hiking to get back to my spot but it's it's certainly primitive enough there's no bathrooms there's no electricity just a fire ring um, and that's it so I got in and uh, scouted out my spot and as you can see back there there's the French F1 tent set up ready to go and uh, I guess the next phase is to start scouting for firewood now so freaky <clears throat> I've never seen anything like that and I think I've read about this like it's either they look like insects but they're not I think it's a is it a fungus of some sort and it's just it's uh, I don't know what it's doing I don't know why it's doing it but it's pretty darn cool look at that Isn't that amazing So I'm inside the F1 French commando tent and um, it's very comfortable. I mean, plenty of room for me and my gear. Really looking forward to sleeping in tonight and see how it does. I'm really curious about uh, condensation with the single wall. Um, <clears throat> there should be probably a little bit of condensation, but hopefully not too bad. I certainly think there's enough vents in this to keep it vented out. The side vents are big. And of course there's a vent at the top back there. And then you got the front door, which I'll probably leave open tonight. Um, but there's plenty of room in here for me. You could squeeze two people in here easily. But it's a, it's a little bit of a, a bear to set up just because it takes so many stakes and one thing I did discover that I don't like is I replaced all the stakes with um, those tea stakes uh, those Cooligans tea stakes you get at Walmart the the copper colored ones those work great for the guy lines because they have a notch at the top of them and they're long so they're perfect for the guy lines but for staking out the base of the tent shepherd hooks would have been so much better they they have been shorter and they just would have worked better because the um the webbing that they give you to stick a stake through is very short so you don't have a lot of room to mess with it and those uh copper colored stakes that i have they're long and they're just they're too too big to to work with the with the tent um when you're setting the bottom of it, the, the base of the tent. So I'll probably replace those.
All right, so here's everything laid out pretty much. I'll just go through this real quick with you. So we've got plate, plastic so I can cut on. Got my Smokey the Bear hat because I'm cool. Source hydration bladder because there's not a water source up here. Solar lantern, uh, Fisker's hatchet, food bag. Stainless steel canteen, which is uh, the Nalgene version. Climate sleeping pad. There's my anchor battery in that box right there. Underneath that's my leather gloves. There's some uh, kitchen stuff. My grill. Stanley cook pot. Hill, Be Hill People gear kit bag. There's the silky saw underneath that. Some snacks right there. Trail mix. My clothing bag with some long johns. There's the Vargo titanium dig dig tool. Wax cotton hat. Nikon camera. Uh, Absol wool pullover. Hoodie sweatshirt. ILBE backpack. Sit pad. And then over there is the tent. So that's pretty much it.